I want to thank everybody who has been supportive, praying, and continuing to leave comments and encouragement, not just to me, but to everybody who is part of this wonderful community of brothers and sisters. And so I want to say thank you to all of you. As always, I do this in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and my Savior. And I encourage you all to go back to the Bible, to the Word of God. This is the most important thing on this channel. It's not that you follow me or a man or a woman, but that you return to the Word of God and spend as much time as possible. And I speak from experience. If there are days where I don't have or don't spend enough time in His Word, I can see the difference. This is going to be a bit of an open series in that I don't know how many parts it will have. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to also share additional teachings that I received from the Holy Spirit over the past few months. And some of them are coming to fruition. That is, I'm beginning to understand or I'm being taught rather their meanings just now, months after. And they all are relevant to the times that we're in. So I'm going to start with a message that I received in January, then followed by a second message I received in May, which after some time, I was finally able to see this amazing connection. And through these two messages, many other messages will be linked into the series to unravel a series of quite incredible teachings the Holy Spirit has been doing in the past few months and weeks in particular. So the first message I received on January 23 of 2023 at 7.37 p.m. The message says, Write, son, that the hour comes and now is when you will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of glory. Write, son, you've done well. In you I rejoice. Trust in me, son, in me alone. For the time comes, and I am at the door. Now I see a vision of an evil-looking Batman with spread wings and a bat car in a night dark alley. I then see a vision of stacked whiskey glasses. Then the Lord says, My time is now, and a few minutes remain. It's all done according to my will. Then I ask, Lord, is time one minute and half a time thirty seconds? The Lord says, You have done well, son. Continue to study, for I am with you and guide your every step. Abide in me in obedience. For those who follow me, love me. I give you my peace. My peace I give you, son, not according to the world. Buy a new pen, son. The time, the in parentheses, is short. I love you. Abba, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Amen. So the second message that I'm going to add into this part of the series, it was received on May 2nd of 2023. So close to five months later at 6.23 p.m. And it came as a double message. The first part says, you're forgiven, son. I love you, son. By my blood, you are washed. Rest in me, in me find peace. I love you, son. Lord Jesus, Yeshua, Abba, Father God. Amen. Immediately as I thought the message was finished, the Lord continued to speak and said, Now, right, son, I come quickly. Right, son, that I love you, the tiger and the bear. Right, son, the serpent strikes again. You have done well, son, now retire. I love you, Lord Jesus, Abba, Holy Spirit, 
Amen. So the Lord had talked to me in the past about Turkey and Crimea. And he told me that the war would take place, would start and take place in these two locations in the past. As soon as I read the message about the tiger and the bear, we don't have a tiger in the Bible. So immediately after that realization, the Holy Spirit pointed out that by tiger, it was to be looking at the second or the third river in the Bible mentioned, which is the river Tigris. So the river Tigris of T or Tigris is parallel to the Euphrates River. And as you can see, it runs parallel to it, but it runs into Iraq and ultimately creates the border of Syria and leads into Turkey. So I knew that there was a connection between Turkey and the bear representing Russia. And my first impression was that perhaps the Lord was referring to the possibility, or for me, the understanding was the possibility of a war being triggered or starting in Turkey. But as soon as I started to follow the course of the river Tigris, bordering Syria into Turkey, it blew my mind when I saw the city of Batman in Turkey as the last city on the course of the river Tigris. I immediately knew that that was the connection with the message I received in January. It just blew my mind. I could not believe the Lord, how amazingly it does these things. Of course, the Batman message didn't make much sense to me back in January. In fact, I never shared it on the channel. But finally, I was able to see the connection. And so the Lord was showing me that there is something that's going to happen that has to do with these countries, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, and Russia. So doing a little bit more research on the city or town Batman in Turkey, it was a city that was known as Kalat, and Kalat means the bride. It is mind-blowing how the Lord works. These are not things that I can possibly make up. There is no possible way for me to make these connections. And I don't think I've ever heard of a city named Batman to begin with. And certainly I didn't know that this city in, in antiquity meant the bride. It really pointing out to how close we are to his return. And while everything looks somewhat normalized on the outside, it is part of the sleepiness that's kicking in of which we have spoken and the Lord has told us about in the previous series. Thanks to these connections, a lot of other teachings that the Lord has been giving me will make tremendous amount of sense moving forward. So I'm going to ask you to return to this message if necessary to understand how these other teachings about the bride, Mary Magdalene, and other things including the New Jerusalem will be revealed over the course of this series. So I'll be speaking about the role of the bride group, the New Jerusalem, which is an incredible new addition to the series, and where the war is coming in, and most importantly, the Antichrist system and who is behind based on the revelations that the Lord has been sharing. I hope this message was encouraging. I will do my absolute best to speak more often and to bring these videos more often to you. But in the meantime, I'm going to urge you to continue to work on your ministry, on sharing the gospel. And to abandon the debate, as I continue to say, there's no time for that. There's too many people who don't know the word of God, the message of Christ. Go and share the gospel with them. I hope this message blessed you. Thank you for your support, your prayers, and your comments. I love each and every one of you. And I continue to invite you to the Zoom group as well, which is a place where we meet weekly to share teachings like this and more encouragement. In Jesus' name, amen.